right? That's a softball, right? That, that's a tough one. The way it's phrased is tough. How do you bring that tension in, into some uh, easy way of viewing that tension? And so I think the first that you just look at the numbers, right? First of all, uh, what we're doing right now is unethical, right? So we're passing on trillion dollar deficits per year to the next generation. And so everyone agrees that's not ethical. So then what are you going to do about it? You're going to have to reduce spending at the federal level, right? And so some of the emphasis can move down to state and local. It doesn't mean we're against the federal government, but you, you cannot continue trillion dollar deficits as far as I can see. Uh, I just mentioned China's debt at 250. They're centrally planned. We're not. We have a market system, and eventually the mon bond market is going to have a hiccup. Uh, we're at 21 trillion in debt. We have a hundred trillion dollars in unfunded liabilities to the entitlement and mandatory spending programs. Medicare and Social Security are insolvent. Uh, Medicare in eight years, Social Security in 2034. And these all begin with a T, with a trillion dollars. And so it's clear this is going to have to be bipartisan. It's hugely political. Uh, and so I'm begging the other side to be rational uh, and get behind closed doors and let's solve the problems. Instead, at election time, too often the Democrats come out with the negative ads and say the sky's falling, the Republicans are going to cut all your safety net programs. And of course, that's always been false, and it is false right now. And so it's important to lay that out because that is three fourths of the budget, right? The budget used to be, you know, one fourth <laughs> mandatory and three fourths discretionary. Now that's flipped upside down. Now it's three fourths entitlement mandatory and one fourth discretionary. I'm on the budget committee <clears throat> and it's very hard. The Republicans, uh, just to put this into real world relief, uh, what happened this year with the tax cuts, uh, the mainstream media, uh, found a new term they had not otherwise heard of called a deficit this year. And so that came up in the context of tax cuts, which are $150 billion a year from the Republicans. And they said, oh, they're, they're, the Republicans are going to blow a hole in the debt and deficit, et cetera. Uh, and they, everybody on the left said the tax cuts would fail, the stock market would plummet immediately, the economy would tank. It's all in print a year ago. Uh, and hopefully rationality still matters. And so all of that was false. And so going back in retrospect, I hope everyone watching this knows all of that was false. Whether it was intentionally false is up for you to make up your mind. And so now we're growing at 4.1. Uh, if we keep at that clip or even less than that clip and average over three, the tax cuts are paid for. Most of them are paid for already without even getting at uh, other good news where people are entering the workforce and spending is going down because we're saving there, right? I'm just going on pure economic growth uh, without going into huge detail. In contrast there, on the other side of the aisle to get a budget at the end of the year, we need nine Senate Democratic votes and that cost us $400 billion, not paid for. And the mainstream press for some reason forgot about the term deficits when it came to the $400 billion. Uh, impact. So uh, Republicans don't have it all right, uh, but I think we have it more right. The Democrat spending uh, binge continues. A lot of people say, hey, why don't you just compromise up there? Uh, I'll give a cautionary note. Sometimes uh, cooperation is great working across the aisle. On this one, if you do cooperate and negotiate, the Republicans wanted about a $900 billion deficit. The Democrats wanted a $1.3 trillion deficit, so the compromise would have resulted in $1.2 uh, trillion deficit. And I don't think that's what the American people elected us to do. So that's my rough recap on, on the budget and some of the significant problems we have to face still in the future.